Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing my layering combos for the month of May. And I have a lot of layering combos. I kind of went crazy this month mixing things, you know, doing little concoctions. So I cannot wait to share all of these with you guys. So if you are new here and you love anything girly, fragrance, beauty, self-care, body care, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to see you here for my future uploads and that's pretty much all that I talk about. So with that said, let's jump right into this month's layering combos. So I have so much to share with you guys. I kind of want to go in order because sometimes I get so excited and then I forget to mention things. So the first thing I'm going to mention is my lip combo for the day because sometimes I get axed and then I do not remember unless I film a get ready with me. And today's makeup, I filmed my entire makeup process, but I did it for TikTok, for Instagram and for shorts. So I'm going to be uploading things on this look, but it's not going to be a get ready with me. So I will share my lip combination. I use the Too Faced Italian Spritz eyeshadow palette on my eyes. And then for the lips, I used Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine Lip Liner with this Rimmel London Kate lipstick in the number 42. And then I topped it off with this Patrick Ta Major Volume Plumping Gloss in the shade Full Syringe. That's kind of like what's giving this look kind of like that reddish undertone because I wanted it to kind of match more see that to the eyeshadow i did put a red lip on at first and it was way too much for me so i took that off that is the lip combo for today and then i also wanted to share these body care products that i have been layering with a lot of these combos but i forgot to mention it in my favorites i wanted to include this in my monthly favorites and i completely forgot to add this to it so the first product is from sol de janeiro and this is the bum bum firmeza oil first of all this packaging is just so so nice I love like the rubber bottom when I place it on my sink I know that it's not going to slip and slide or break so I really really like that and I like that it has a pump as well as you can see I am almost done with this oil I don't have much left um I will say for the price of this oil it is a little pricey pretty much what I love about it is the scent because it smells like Cherosa 62 i believe is the number but the claims that it has of like visibly firming and deep puffing i'm not sure about that but then again i haven't really like put it on and then paid attention to my skin that way but i will say that it does leave your skin looking beautiful and hydrated and it smells really really good and it mixes in really really nice with all of my body care that I use so that's that I got a few comments from you guys asking me for like an update on this because I did show it on a haul and never talked about it afterwards because I had it sitting on my shelf without using it so I made it a point this month to take these out and these are by the brand honey and I got the splash salve which this is like a in shower moisturizer and then this is the water balm drip drip deep hydration body mist so these two together oh my god as you can see the mist is like up to here and then the in shower moisturizer i have used quite a big chunk of this this is no joke this is if you literally want your skin to feel like butter but you have to be okay like when i wear this at night i prefer to put on like some long pants because you're probably gonna be sticking all over the place because you are left with so much hydration and it does eventually sink into your skin but when you first put it on it's super glowy it's super moisturized your skin looks so plump now the reason why i wasn't using it too much is because when i first hauled it i mentioned how i didn't really get a scent out of this but it definitely has a scent it has like a woody rose type of scent so this doesn't really go with everything i wish that it was unscented if this was unscented it would be perfection because you would be able to layer it with everything but it does have like this rose deep it's a very sexy scent but it also is kind of woody the way that you use this is after you're done showering you rub it on your skin and then you're going to rinse it off but you're not going to touch yourself like you're going to let the water go on your skin and what that's going to do is it's going to literally you can see the water droplets like sticking onto your skin and just like moisturizing your skin so 
This is very, very effective, but you have to be okay with like that super moisturized feeling. And then when I get out of the shower, I pat myself dry with the towel and that kind of like just sets everything in place, keeps the skin looking really, really moisturized. And then I go ahead and spray the deep hydration body mist your skin will be glowing, hydrated, smooth, beautiful. It's just that the scent, you gotta be okay with like a woody rose scent. So, so far they're amazing though, and I definitely recommend for those of you who suffer with dry skin, this is great. And one more thing that I forgot to mention in my favorites, but this is such a favorite for the month. And this is thanks to Abrilda's makeup. I am obsessed with her content. She does do her content in Spanish, but everything that she recommends, it's like, golden like it works for me she has not steered me wrong and i always have a tan like on my upper body i don't have a problem having a tan i have like a very nice tan color especially because I, i've been getting a lot of sun lately but my face and here i don't like to get sun so i'm always wearing like a hat so that's always kind of pale and then my legs are so freaking pale like you can see my veins you can it's literally like see-through skin i don't really go out and like tan and stuff like that so she talked about this and this has saved my legs because now my legs match my body finally and that is thanks to this this is the jurgens natural glow firming daily moisturizer i got it medium to deep and it has collagen and then this has like a self like a gradual self tanner in it so it's not messy you don't have to worry about like getting your skin kind of like filled with streaks or like with orange splotches on it which sometimes tanning can give you this will give you the most natural looking glowy tan legs and it feels so good on the skin so i put this on at night on my legs on my thighs put on some long pants and the first night you're not gonna notice a difference it's kind of, i would say like the third night and on is when you all of a sudden like i was in the car and i was wearing shorts and i saw my legs and i'm like oh my god my legs look so glowy and like tanned golden it's not orange. I, I mean, I like this medium to deep skin tone. I have not tried the other ones, but this one leaves your skin so glowy. I love this. I don't want to be without this. Now let's get into the layering combos because I have so many. So I have really been layering a lot. Like I've just been spraying these pretty much with all, almost everything that I was wearing. So these got a lot of use. The, the least one was this one because this was my least favorite, but I still did wear it with a fragrance. So let's start off with that one. I wore the one when in Rio fragrance mist from Sol de Janeiro so I applied this body mist all over and I layered it with Ralph Lauren's Beyond Romance and these two went together really really nice because this one's more of like a girly perfumey type of scent so layering it with the Beyond Romance they're beautiful together yeah they're almost I would say that they're kind of similar to each other so layering these two together they're gonna go so beautifully together it's like a girly musky creamy vanilla kind of fruity type of combination and i really really enjoyed this combo so this is like girly berries smooth creamy combination so that's the first one then i also use do not disturb i literally have used this one way more than i forgot to show you this one this one just got like maybe one or two uses so this one doesn't have that much of a big dent but this one i have been liking it with so many things like before i go to bed i usually splash this on and just put on so many different things with it but i really did like it with my versace done in purple these two together like did something for me this one is, it reminds me a lot of Cloud in the opening, I'm not gonna lie, it reminds me so much of that. But it quickly starts turning into like this linen type of scent. It's kind of cozy in like a fresh way. And then with this, layered on with this one i really really like it it gives you like this sexy musky just cozy type of scent but this has like that sexiness that woody dry down they go together really really nice i really enjoyed this combination so so much i don't know like how i came up with these i literally was just grabbing whatever i thought would go nice together i usually kind of focus on like layering the same notes together but this time i was literally just 
picking stuff and layering it and hoping that they will go well together. So these two together are really, really nice. Now for the guava one, I'm pretty sure that you guys already know what I layered with this. I did comments and I also mentioned it in a previous video ahead of time. I love guava. It's one of my favorite notes and I layered it with my two fragrances in my collection that have guava. So bikini season, which is a very guava dominant scent even though it does dry down with coconut and vanilla kind of like a musky coconut scent but i layered this one which this one also got a good amount of use as well i layered this one with my versace dylan turquoise and they went together so beautiful i loved it and i also paired it with my floral street wonderland peony so these two perfumes have guava in them so layering these together was perfect i really really like this combination it was like a fruity floral and then this just gave it kind of like that summertime vibe added to these even though this one's already pretty like summer Marie. these went together so so nice okay so for my mother's day combo i kind of went crazy i was spending mother's day on the other side of the island the west side of the island where my husband's family is it gets so hot there and we spent the weekend in this house that had a pool and then on mother's day we spent it with my husband's grandma and it was just family together very casual we didn't do anything like that we had to get super dressed up for or anything like that so i wanted to keep my mother's day scent just appropriate for the weather and where we were but i took so many yummy scents in my little travel bag i just mixed them all together and when i tell you that i was smelling so good so the first thing that i started off with is this real radiance cream from sol de janeiro i put this all over my body it does have a little bit of glitter in this body cream but it's not super chunky and it's not too noticeable and this does the body cream to me has more of that nutty coconut smell than the actual mist itself it smells really really good it smells kind of like a little bit of white floral along with some coconut so this was the base for that day then i sprayed the bikini season this day as well from sol de janeiro so i didn't use the real radiance i wanted something a little bit more coconutty and soft and creamy so i like this one the guava gave it a nice little burst of fruit and then I couldn't make up my mind between these two, so I just sprayed both of them. So I sprayed some Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun on top, and then I also went in with Coconut Sun from The Seven Virtues, and when I tell you, it was like the most beautiful combination ever, and I was smelling myself the whole time that I was wearing it. It was hot outside, and this combination was just amazing. I shared it on my Instagram, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram, and also on TikTok. I'm gonna put the names on the screen i'm trying to share more of my layering combos like on a daily basis before it makes it to my youtube video so that i don't forget i also did it kind of so that i don't forget the layering combos that i do because sometimes i'll do a layering combo and if i don't write it down i'll forget about it so i'm taking pictures of them and posting them or i'm posting reels kind of showing those combos so you can kind of get a sneak peek before i talk about them here so that was one that I posted and I absolutely loved. Then when I came back from that trip that night and I got home, I took a shower and I did like another coconutty combo. So I was kind of like in the mood for coconut. So I started off, I don't have any more of this body wash, but I started off with the Bath & Body Works Cucumber Melon Body Wash. And you're going to see why. This has notes of crisp cucumber, watery honeydew, summer cantaloupe, sparkling grapefruit, and sheer woods. So this has like that cucumber melon type of scent, which I'm not the biggest fan of. This is the only body wash I like, and the Dove cucumber wash are the ones that I love with cucumber. Everything else I don't really like. This is really, really nice. Then I, again, use the Sol de Janeiro Radi real radiance body cream which has coconut in it put that on started off with these two products then i took my bath and body works coconut body spray which is like a musky coconut body spray it has coconut milk sea salt musk and fresh vanilla so so good so that gave it like even more coconut and then i went in with my baby 
from Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Coconut Fizz. And that is the reason why I use this body wash because I do get like a cucumber type of scent in here that's really, really nice and it mixes in so nice with the coconut. So these together were so amazing. It created this really, really nice, refreshing, just coconut tropical type of scent for the night. So I really enjoyed that. Another combo that I really loved is this Copper Coconut Sands from Bath & Body Works. This was released last year. I'm hoping that they will release it again this year. I hope. I have not seen any like previews from those pages that show you what's going to be released, but I still have hope because this is such a good one. This has notes of sun-kissed coconut, soft orchid petals, and creamy sandalwood. And I paired this with alien goddess so these are super super similar to each other they layer so perfectly together this is pretty much like a dupe for this fragrance so if you like the way this smells you will like this and if you like the way this smells you will love alien goddess and together they just did like this creamy warm musky coconut smell this is definitely more on like the meaty coconut side as opposed to these other coconut scents the ones that i mentioned previously are more like thin refreshing coconut water types of scents this one to me is a little bit thicker, but it was so nice together. So that's another combo that I did. Now let's move on to some fruity combinations. So I have been running a lot of errands with my husband because we are getting closer to our move. So I have been wearing just like very casual scents during the day. So I started off with Bath & Body Works Country Apple. So I put on my body lotion and I also paired it with the body mist. The body mist has notes of apple blossom, fresh muguay, sheer sunlight, and or orchard woods. I think that's how you say that. And I paired these with Victoria's Secret Teas Sugar Flirt. So these go together so beautifully. I also posted this one on my Instagram. Just a really nice combination to wear during the day. Casually, it's girly, it's flirty, fruity with that apple in there. And they go together beautifully because this fragrance also has apple in it. And it's just such a sweet, fruity, almost reminds me kind of of like bubblegum, but really, really nice scent. So paired with the country apple, it is perfect. Next up for a strawberry combo. I was so iffy about this body care from Bath & Body Works for the longest. I didn't like smelling the candle too much, so I never thought that I would like it in body care until I watched Simply Shaughnessy here on YouTube. She was the one that got me like curious about this fragrance or this body care because she did talk about it in her videos. So it is Bath & Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake. So I started off again with the body cream. I always put on the body cream. And what I usually do is I take a few pumps of whatever oil I'm using. This one is scented, but I still mix it in, I don't mind. So I'll do like two pumps of this because these body creams are not the most hydrating to me, but I do love the scent and the layering that it creates. So Strawberry Pound Cake has notes of fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And on the skin, it just makes you smell so yummy. So I took the body cream, I put on the fragrance mist all over my PJs because I wore this at night. And then I also put on a little bit of this, not a lot, but this is the Strawberry Pound Cake Diamond Shimmer Mist. I just think this is so pretty. I just like looking at it. I picked up this bottle just because it was so beautiful. And then I layered it with Burberry Hair. So that's kind of like a obvious combo. I'm sure that many have done this combo before, but these smell so nice together. And it, you know, this strawberry is super duper like powdery and musky. So this adds a little bit of like sweetness to it, a little bit more fruitiness to the combo. So this combo right here is so good if you want to smell like strawberries. It's so yummy. For one of my all time favorite notes, Peach. Peaches, 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 peaches. I layered two fragrances with Pretty as a Peach from Bath and Body Works, which is one of my favorite body care. This lotion is pretty much almost done. I need a new one. And here is the Pretty as a Peach. This has notes of blushing peach, jasmine, petals, white nectarine, apple blossom, and sheer freesia, but I literally just pick up peach in here and I layered it with Coach Floral Blush. This does have a peach note in it and these layered together smelled so good. This one's a little bit more floral. It has like this warm touch to it. It also has grapefruit, so it has like a citrusy touch. These two together are beautiful. And then 
I had never tried this combo, even though it's kind of obvious. And one of you guys commented that you layered these two together and what a beautiful combo. I already love this fragrance. It's one of my like ride or die fragrances. Just, it goes way back with me. And this is Gucci Guilty. These together, oh my God, these are so good together. This has peach in it and you do pick up a little bit of peach, but since there is like that peppery, warm, spicy touch in here, adding more peach, I loved it. So these went together beautifully for a nice peachy, warm, spicy, peppery, sexy type of combination. So that is it for my layering combos. I hope that you guys enjoyed this month's layering combos. It was quite a few. Let me know the fragrance combos that you enjoyed for this month. Also, let me know if you're interested in trying any of these combinations. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video.